Saw this video a while ago, been wanting to make a video about this for quite some time. Finally getting around to doing it. But uh, very interesting, this video documentary here on Seventh-day Adventism, and they're, they're battling back and forth um, on the issue of the Trinity versus the Godhead teaching. And I'm not a, a fan at all of Seventh-day Adventism and, you know, Ellen G. White and all this stuff. She was devil-possessed. But uh, notice what he says here at the end. This is very important. These are modern-day Seventh-day Adventist uh, church leaders, and they're talking about being Trinitarian now. But let's watch the rest of this video here. I'm going to comment a little bit on this. Jesus Christ, given to the prophets who wrote the scriptures that have been handed down from generation to generation from the time of Moses. Take, for example, the widely accepted doctrine of the Trinity. No human being can explain such a marvelous truth. God is one, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. The point is that when you receive Jesus Christ as your Savior and friend, the Trinity dwells in your heart. To know Christ is to know the deity. The doctrine of the Trinity is centered in Christ. The Holy Spirit is a person and more than a person. Did you know the Bible teaches that the Holy Spirit partakes of the very essence of God? The Holy Spirit is a part of the Trinity. We believe in God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. And the work of the Holy Spirit is tremendously important as far as you and I are concerned. And number three, I should receive today the mighty outpouring of God the Holy Spirit. Statements like these about the Trinity and the Holy Spirit are totally foreign to early Adventism. Why did the Adventist Church change its position on the Trinity? The standard denominational answer is simply all the Adventist pioneers were wrong. Modern Adventism has changed its belief about the Trinity because of our great desire to spiritually advance in harmony with Ellen G. White and biblical revelation. Is this true? Let's look at the big picture. Satan inspired and put pressure on the pagan religions to teach the false trinity concept of God. Satan inspired early Catholicism to compromise with paganism and teach the false trinity concept of God. Talk about pressure. All who did not doctrinally harmonize with Catholicism were proscribed as heretics, persecuted, tortured, and killed. The Catholic creed about the Trinity has remained the standard test of orthodox Christian faith for about the last 700 years. Most Protestant churches apply the Catholic Trinity doctrine as a main test of fellowship with other churches. Just about anyone who can subscribe to the Trinity is welcome into ecumenical fellowship with open arms. At the same time, any church rejecting the Trinity doctrine is denounced and labeled by evangelical Protestantism as a dangerous cult. From its very beginning, the early Adventist church did not accept nor promote the Catholic doctrine of the Trinity. Therefore, from the very beginning, Adventism has faced and battled incredible pressures from Catholic and Protestant churches to compromise and harmonize with them, or be labeled as a dangerous non-Christian cult forever. Why do you think the Adventist Church is no longer classified as a cult? Is it because Catholics and Protestants have generally become more tolerant and sympathetic towards the Advent message? Or is it because we have changed our message significantly enough to win their favor, approval, and acceptance? Now you know the real reason why modern Adventism has changed its position regarding the Trinity. I want to appeal to you, dear friend, to study this issue as a matter of salvation, for indeed, the Omega is. God's mission for the... Okay. All right. So there you see it. And I don't agree with this Omega stuff and Ellen G. White's revelations and whatever else. That's not the point. The point is the Seventh-day Adventist system no longer is considered a cult today because they're Trinitarian now. And see, that's why there's so much pressure coming from all these fake Bible-believing Christians uh, that are out there. And they're, they're saying, if you don't believe in the Trinity, then you're lost. This is a matter of salvation. It's the core. It's the very central doctrine of Christianity. You are dealing with papists. Okay? 
and you know if you're if you want to come out as a Catholic and say that stuff fine not a problem whatever but don't you dare try to sneak in among King James Bible believers like myself and a lot of the brethren that follow this ministry have their own channels have their own ministries but we're not Trinitarians don't you dare try to sneak in and act like you're a Bible believing Christian the King James Bible does not use the word Trinity it's not in there there's no God the Son God the Holy Spirit there's no three persons God in three persons divine essence there's a lot of things that you papists have had to add and then you claim your beliefs have to come from the scriptures you're liars all you Trinitarians are liars you're Baal worshippers okay right there another guy not even a, a Bible believing Christian and he's saying Seventh-day Adventists were considered heretics until they became Trinitarians that's why there's so much pushback against this uh, movement where we're going back to the Bible and saying it's Godhead there is no Trinity this teaching of the Trinity is false that's why all these people are pushing back so hard because they're covert Catholics it's just as simple as that you see somebody who's defending the Trinity get away from them quickly